I guess this isn't starting off like I thought it was going to. If you can even see me. There I am. But, uh, the car's got a dead battery. This is gonna be a lot longer of a process than I thought. I found some jumper cables. So now, I've just gotta find a way to get it out of the garage. Back enough, because this garage is not large enough to fit two cars in side by side. Out enough to pull my car up next to it and be able to jump start this. This is so weird. It's not that cold, it shouldn't have died. But I guess I'm gonna attempt at putting it in neutral and rolling it out now. Got it out. That went way smoother than I thought it was. Gotta go back inside and grab my keys. That's so weird that it died. It's like 35 degrees out right now, I think. If you could see me. Man, I need a haircut. I'm really hoping it's just the battery. This car's been in the shop for the last couple days. Things never go smoothly around here, I swear, dude. I'm just really hoping that it's not more. Because I'm just supposed to be doing brakes on this. <laughs> I forgot to pop my hood. I'm not really new to the new to the, uh, yeah used to these new cars, so I was kind of confused as to where the battery was, but I found it. Took me a second, but I'm gonna let it run for a second just to. Hopefully charge it up enough to start it. I should really invest in a jump box, because I don't have one. And it would have been easier if I had a jump box, because I don't want to have to do that. Pull this over here, back this out. That's not my car, so it's scary. But I guess I gotta wait a little longer, I didn't want to charge enough, so it's... God, I hate the way these look on my eyes. Uh, it's not ready to turn over, it's not even acting like it wants to. This is so weird. It is not cold enough to kill a battery here yet. It doesn't seem... But... I'm gonna figure it out. Oh, crap. Safe to say that's over. Well, the easy part, shall I say, is over. Now we got to change out the rotors and pads, but I'm gonna take you guys along with me through that because I've never done them on this car. So it's gonna be a first for both of us. Because if you're watching the video on YouTube, I take it you don't know what you're doing. Just like me. So uh, first things first, you need yourself a jack, a jack stand, and tire iron to break those bad boys off. So that's what we make sure to set your e brake before you attempt to raise the car. 
There we go. Didn't want to go in at first. I don't know what's up with this thing. Break those lug nuts free before you try and lift the car or else it's not gonna come off. We need to go attempt to go. I'm unfamiliar with the lift points on this car, so I'm gonna look that up before I do anything. 2014. Forward focus. What the heck? One moment, getting a bunch of text messages right now. All right, so I just pulled up the lift point, like a diagram of it, and it looks like the lift points are what I assume to be. Let's see if I can get this big old thing under here. You're not gonna be able to see that without light. One second, I got you, got you, bro. Don't worry about this, I got you. Right. So, the lift points are what I'm going to assume to be those uh, pinch welds right there? I think that's what those are. Right there. I don't think I'm wrong. Here, you take a look at the picture and tell me what you think. So, the lift point that I need is right there. The blue one at the bottom left. Says it's safe. If this thing would focus, you would be able to see, but I'm not that fortunate apparently. I'd also went earlier and got a T45 because you're gonna need a T45 Torx bit for the back uh, caliper bolts that mount to the bracket. Those guys right there, they are a T45 Torx bit. But I'm going to finish up this side and then I will walk you guys through the other side because obviously I got impatient. So. So in order to do this, you will need yourself a tire iron, which I believe is a 19 mil. You'll need a C-clamp or a compressor, caliper compressor tool, I think that's what it's called at network. Uh, a mallet in case your uh, rotors are seized onto the hub like mine were. A, what is that? 18 millimeter socket for the bracket bolts and a T45 Torx bit for the, um, I think they're the mounting bolts that mount the caliper to the bracket. I might be wrong. All I know is I used it on the other side, so it's necessary. <laughs> I usually just jack it up just barely enough to get the wheel off the ground. Set your jack stand under a reliable mounting space or place. Go ahead and pull your lug nuts all the way off now. So, and the wheel. Turn the wheel a little bit so I have easier access to the brakes. Let's see, what can you see? So on the back side of the caliper, where your caliper mounting bolts are, there's these little caps. You see? They go, there's one, let's see, can you see that? If it would focus, you would. Anyways, the little black caps that come right out, that's where your Torx bits are. They're inside of those. So go ahead and pop those out. Ooh, don't lose them, because you do need them. They are necessary. Get your T45. And place it in there. And try and break those loose. These are really tight though, so. Try not to bust your hands. Ah, see that one? It was tight at first, but it came loose pretty easily. Got one more down here. A little, little force to it, she'll come loose. A 
once you've backed them out, don't pull them out all the way. Just get them out enough to free the caliper from the bracket. Um, once you have them un untightened, loosened, I don't know what's the actual way to say that. You have to force them back away from the caliper because they're in these uh, rubber boots and the rubber boots don't really loosen up on them. One second, let me grab a screwdriver. So you're gonna need a little tiny screwdriver to kind of, I'll show you. So you see right there, there is the bolt. The screwdriver's pointing, there's that little bolt. You need that to come back. So once it is untightened, just kind of ease it back out of there like that. Man, this camera really sucks at focusing on up close things. That little bolt there. All right, there's one up top and then there's one underneath of it. The one underneath, you aren't really, unless you get underneath of it. You're kind of down next to it, I guess. Can't really see it, but just do the same thing with that one. Ease it back off the bracket. Once you do that, the caliper should be pretty feet free. You do have to remove this little spring clip that's on the face of the bracket, or the caliper. Just take your, just kind of hide away from it. Force on a little bit, it should come right out. Once that's out, your caliper should. You did everything correctly. Right off. Oh. Right. You do have to force the piston back off the pad, which in this case isn't wanting to come back. But once that's off, should be pretty good. It came off. Try not to let it hang. Pull something aside. I set the road or the wheel and tire under the car. So the road or the caliper isn't hanging so it doesn't crumble your brake line on the inside. Once you've gotten that far, you have two bolts. One right here, one little focus. This one right here. They are 18 millimeters. Those are what's holding this bracket on. You could say these pads are uh, Kind of done, they kind of look like a dinner plate. <laughs> These are really done. <laughs> but, you're gonna want it. I'm using a uh, ratchet. This one is like roughly a foot long, I'd say. It's not really a torque or a breaker bar, but it's a decent long enough ratchet. You're probably gonna run into some stickiness because I'm sure you're not changing your pads every four months so they're not really loose per se. Move this back. But let's give it a little what do they call it? Elbow grease? I've found the culprit of why they are such a pain in the butt to get out. See that blue stuff? There. Blue Loctite. Make sure to put some of that back on when you put it back in, too, so they don't free up again. Once you've freed those two bolts up, your bracket, 
will come right off. Or should. Now, if your car is anything like this one, your rotors are not gonna come off easily. So what you're gonna wanna do is hit here, 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 and here. Keep doing that until it breaks free. There we go. Still on there really tight. But, there we go. Once you get the old one off, I went with AC Delco rotors for this car because I know AC Delco is a very trustworthy brand. But just go ahead and reverse everything you just did. Sit that on there, and to keep it where it's at, I usually just place one lug nut on until I can get the bracket and pads and caliper all back on. Take your bracket, set it up in there. Slide the bolts in. Once those are in there. You're right, so tighten them down. So these calipers are a clip design, or the brake pads, shall I say? The inner one is a clip design, but in order to compress it, you want to leave that caliper, that pad in. If you can get it back in, take your C clamp and set it on the back side. Just compress that caliper back in. If you can see right there, you can see the calipers push quite a bit of a ways, or the piston is pushed quite a bit of a ways out of the caliper right now. So that's why you're trying to press back in because chances are, nine times out of 10, your new pads and rotors are not going to fit. This is for 2012 and newer. I can't speak for the second or first gen models. I have not done brakes on those. <laughs> this is what I meant for a clip though. It just kind of clips into the in inner walls of the piston, holds the pad back, or holds the pad in, so it's not all bouncing around or whatever Ford saw this necessary for. So, got the new pad here. Yeah. See the difference there? New thickness? Old thickness. <laughs> Quite a bit of wear. I'm not sure how many miles are on these pads, but I can only guess quite a few. See your new pad in there? Nope, almost forgot. Just go ahead and set that one on there because if you compress your caliper back enough, your caliper will just slide over. Alright, now we've got our Torx bits fitted back into their holes and if I can find it there's the little clip for the front of the caliper it goes in these two holes I believe your brake should come with it I can't speak for all I went and bought Wagner brand and they came with it so the way I did it on the other caliper I believe at least you line the holes up sort of press them in and then take this end or one end at a time and force it over on the clip or on the ends of the bracket up front. And then take the other end. Mind you, this is how I do it, not how Ford recommends to do it, I'm sure. Force that over. And then. Mount those little clip ends in there, and uh, you're pretty much done. You just gotta put your wheel back on now. Make sure you spray off the pad, or the rotor. I don't know why I keep saying pad. 
the rotor before you put it on, spray it off with like brake cleaner or something, carb cleaner, because they come with like a coating so they don't rust in packaging in the box. So make sure you spray that off real quick. Um, what else? Oh, almost forgot. That would have been bad. Little plastic. These things. Things that I took off at the very beginning. If this thing would focus, you could see them. That thing. Make sure you put those back in their holes. And then, then you're finished. And after all that, you should be done. Like I said, I already done this side earlier. It was just easier to get the one side done first and then try and talk you through the second side once I was sure about what I needed to do. <laughs> Cause like I said, I'd never done these before. That was my first time. And honestly, it was probably the simplest brake job I've ever done in a car. Oh man, I'm out of breath. Winter makes me fat. And just like that, we were all finished. All done cleaning up. Except for those, but don't mind those. But, yeah, if you followed this, you should be golden. But, and that note, that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it helpful or useful in some way. I hope it helped you fix your car. So I hope you like this video. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.